treatment by uniform plane wave we have studied and what is the condition for uniform plane uh, plane wave okay that is this condition okay then after we have seen some matrices like characteristic impedance okay characteristic impedance is nothing but eta okay some of the, the notation you should be known okay it is a fixed notation if it is not is not given means it is for general medium okay in suffix if uh, not is given means it is for free space you know the, the value of mu naught and epsilon naught substitute it you will get the, the value for the intrinsic impedance for free space that is 377 ohm it is a standard constant value okay most of the, the recruitment question this type of thing has been asked or else but for substitution you can know this value okay they won't give any um that is uh, constant values to you separate okay you should know the value and also we have come up with uh, some of the, the wave propagation in different mediums okay so for that one condition alone we have seen uh, for lossless medium okay like that uh, some mediums are there this is one of the case then is the, the conducting medium then we go for the, the good dielectric and good conductor okay let me go one by one in that uh, what are all the, the things we should know okay so in the, the conducting medium okay in the, the conducting medium your wave equation should be equal to zero your wave equation is uh, is uh, is equal to zero so then uh, what is your wave equation for the, the conducting medium that is uh del square e minus uh, mu epsilon uh do e do square e divided by do t square minus mu epsilon do e by do t actually this part will be equal okay we have taken this part this side means it becomes negative which is equal to zero so for this condition only we are uh, uh, calculating okay, we are calculating so once you calculate okay once you calculate this part okay so we will get uh, one condition called as the, the propagation constant so please see in this uh, if all three terms you have electric field is the common okay so we can derive okay so that uh, part is not that much required okay i am directly um, putting that equation del square e minus uh, rho square into e which is equal to zero so i have combined these two equation okay, please uh, say i have combined these two equation so where gamma is nothing but okay gamma square is nothing but j omega mu into sigma plus j omega epsilon so when we derive you can know this step okay just you know what is meant by it so this is called as the the propagation constant this is nothing but the propagation constant so what is meant by it okay so suppose you are considering the, the two antenna so this is nothing but your transmitter and this is your receiver so the signal will transmit from the, the transmitter it will be uh, it will be generate like a radiation and it will be go to the, the receiver part okay so for that in technical what we they will tell means propagation it is propagated in the, the free space so in a transmission line the propagation constant is one of the, the essential term so it uh, it is in complex in nature so it is denoted by the, the symbol gamma okay this what okay so you can see j omega mu is also there and uh, uh, sigma is conductivity j what is j square it is minus okay so that means that this term contains both real and imaginary 
so they will ask what is the propagation constant okay the propagation constant here in this case is nothing but gamma which has the real part and the imaginary part okay a real part and it is the imaginary part so uh, as in the previous step uh, how we written it is nothing but uh, j omega mu uh, into sigma plus j omega epsilon if i am taking root i will get the, the value of uh, 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 sigma okay that is root of j omega mu into sigma plus j omega epsilon okay j omega epsilon so then we have to further uh, um, further we have to calculate to get the, the value of attenuation constant under the phase constant okay so the attenuation constant so attenuation constant is nothing but constant alpha okay so in above step alpha is nothing but attenuation constant so the value is uh, given like this omega into omega into whole root of mu epsilon divided by 2 into root of 1 plus sigma square divided by omega square epsilon square minus 1. Okay, so the root is for this term alone, this 1 and the sigma square divided by omega square epsilon square. So where beta is nothing but the, the phase constant, okay, so for phase constant, the same equation here it is minus attenuation where in phase constant the progressive uh, phase shift will be added so the entire term will be equal that is mu epsilon divided by 2 whole root of 1 plus sigma square whole divided by omega square epsilon square plus 1 so in the case of the wave propagation in conducting medium, it is a conducting medium. So that means some conductor will be there. So in the conductor only this wave is propagating. So at that time, uh, we got the attenuation constant and the phase constant. This you should be remember. Whereas in previous case, like lossless medium, okay, lossless medium, there is no attenuation constant. You see, there is no alpha we have provided only beta alone we have provided this is a phase shift constant and through that we have obtained the velocity okay for lossless medium if, uh, before that we have given the, the term like assistant uh, uh, this is for to uh, evaluate uh, for the further step so what only we have given the, the definition under the what is the, the respective expression okay so let me go with the, the next criteria um, called as uh, still uh, two more criteria is there one is good dielectrics and another one is the, the good conductor okay so then after we will go ahead with uh, this concept so the one is Uh, students, if any of them are waiting outside or if any discrepancies, uh, please interrupt at any time. If you not, you can, uh, uh, at the end of the session, you can ask. Okay. okay. So let me go with the, the next thing is called as the, the wave propagation in good dielectric. What is a dielectric? Dielectric is one of the uh, insulator material. Okay, insulator material. So it cannot conduct any current. Okay, it conduct not any current. Okay, so let me go with this thing. That is it. 
wave propagation in good dielectric. So when I can tell a student is a good, when he is behave properly in the class and he is doing very well for all subject and uh, this is the, the normal mentality for the, the third person. So just uh, uh, I'm telling the another controversy like uh, when a son or daughter is said to be very good by their parents. Okay, so when they are doing very extraordinary, so then definitely they will tell good or bad. Okay, sorry, good and excellent. Okay, so then how this uh, uh, wave propagation in a good dielectric is perfectly done. Okay, so please see the factor before that is uh, sigma divided by omega epsilon. In both alpha and beta, you can see that is uh, the sigma divided by omega epsilon. Both uh, numerator and denominator has uh, see the square term. Okay, has the, the square term. So that gives the the uh, ratio. Okay, for the the given medium. Okay, that for the the given dielectric medium. The dielectric medium is nothing but literally called as the insulator. So insulator um, will be used in any of the uh, devices, electron devices to, uh, to provide the stability to the, the system or with the stand for the all potential. Okay. Let me go with this thing, then I will explain you. So, in the, the wave propagation in dielectric, the ratio of the, the conduction current density to the, the displacement current density in the medium is sigma divided by omega epsilon. So, the ratio of the ratio of Conduction current density to the displacement current density to the displacement current density in the medium is sigma divided by omega epsilon. When previously this term has been seen uh, with uh, some conditions like this. Okay, so for dielectric, okay, for dielectric, please remember for dielectric, this sigma divided by omega epsilon is very, very less than one. For good the dielectric that means what it is below to the value one then only we can say that it is very good okay it is very good so we already in previous uh, equation you can see that the step will be in a root inside the, the root like uh, omega square okay in omega square mm. so this can be written like this all to the power instead of the, the root i am put like all to the power 1 by 2 it is all to the power 1 by 2 okay all to the power 1 by 2 it is uh, like a binomial expression like 1 plus a power n 1 power a power that is a power n that is Oh, 1 plus a into n we can write. Okay, you put it like this. Right? Yeah. 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 Uh, students, uh, if uh, any one of them has been unmuted, please mute it. If not, uh, disturb for everyone. If the, the expression like this, then you can apply the, the binomial form and you can like 
this. Okay, so you, we can go for the further uh, orders also, but I have went for only the single order one. Okay, that is one plus a n. This is one formula you know. Okay, so then how we can write this step? It is approximately equal to one plus omega square into uh, one by two. Okay, so one by two has been I have mentioned. Sorry, numerator is a sigma square, not omega square. It is a sigma square. Okay, it is sigma square, all divided by omega square into epsilon square. So this is nothing but your um, dielectric uh, attenuation factor. So then, what is the the uh, attenuation factor, uh, phase velocity? And the the velocity uh, velocity of the the medium, uh, velocity of the the wave, and the, the intrinsic impedance, intrinsic or the characteristic impedance. So the value of the the attenuation constant like this. So attenuation constant alpha is given like this. If you substitute in that, and you can uh, uh, see means you will get alpha for this case like this. Uh, sigma divided by two, whole divided by mu by epsilon. Similarly, phase shift constant beta is given like this. Okay, that is omega into mu epsilon into one plus one plus sigma square whole divided by eight omega square into okay, so sigma square whole divided by 1 by 8 into omega square into epsilon square. This is for phase velocity in a good dielectric material. Just remember the formulas. Okay, it is not that much thing. At least you should know the the formula, and I will give some practice problems. Okay, at least you can know how this can be derived. Okay, so the next is the the velocity of the the wave in dielectric. Okay, so the next one is the, the velocity of the, the wave in the direction. Okay, so that is uh, the velocity is nothing but the, the ratio of uh, ratio of the angular velocity omega to the the phase shift constant beta. Okay, phase shift constant beta. So then this can be given like this v naught into one minus sigma all divided by 8 omega square epsilon square okay okay so this is nothing but your velocity of the wave so similarly we have to do it for the intrinsic character the characteristic impedance whereas for good dielectric only we are doing this much calculation whereas for others and all we not did anything Whereas for good dielectric and this is a good conductor, we have to provide like this. So then intrinsic impedance, it also can be derived. Okay, so that is eta. Okay, eta is nothing but the, the intrinsic impedance that is mu divided by epsilon. Uh, okay, so mu divided by epsilon the whole root into 1 plus j sigma whole divided by 2 omega epsilon okay so for good dielectric we have to tell about what is the attenuation constant phase shift constant velocity and the uh, okay so these are the, the predominant matrices for 
each and every uh, medium okay so for that you should know what is the conditions so please see for this condition how we given it is very very less than one for good dielectric it is very very less than one okay so whereas uh, another one last one is there that is called as the, the good conductor so one minute Let me go with the, the, the last case. Okay. The last case is nothing but okay, that is wave propagation in a good conduct. And good conductor. So, which one we will tell as a good conductor? If I am applying one of the, the conductor material to the direct plug point, if uh, uh, I am say that uh, our mobile charger is a good conductor, how? So, if I am plugged into that system and if I connect to the, the mobile phone, it will take half an hour to recharge, full recharge to your mobile phone module gadget. So some rectification has been there. Okay, some rectification has been there. Uh, why means uh, from the, the board supply? It is of uh, some. Uh, uh, how can I say? Means it is uh, some back uh, push, uh, requirements are needed to store the energy, and whenever it is necessary, we can able to talk. Okay. So let me go with this case. So here the, the condition we are giving as uh, very, very greater than. Okay, so for this, the condition will be given like this. Okay, the condition will be given like this. That is uh, sigma divided by omega epsilon is very, very greater than. Okay, here it is very, very greater than one. Why means for good conductor, the conductive conductivity is really taken okay. um, Then for this case, how the uh, attenuation constant and the phase constant will be calculated. Okay. So this condition should be applied in your uh, um, propagation constant uh, alpha, that is sorry, gamma. Gamma is nothing but a what? It is a com complex value of attenuation constant and the phase constant. So in this case, particularly the good conductor, alpha and beta will be equal. That is attenuation constant and the phase constant will be equal. Yeah. So let me, um, what is the, the value for alpha and the beta? It is whole root of so the value will be like this omega mu sigma whole divided by whole divided by two. Okay, one minute. So what is alpha? Alpha is nothing but the attenuation constant. Where beta is nothing but the, the phase shift constant. That means both are in phase. Okay, both are in phase. The value for both of them is nothing but whole root of Omega mu sigma divided by uh, two. Okay, whole divided by two. Then what is the, the value of the, the velocity and that is the intrinsic impedance? So the velocity value is like this. Okay. 
yeah the velocity of the, the modulation is like this velocity of the, the wave it's nothing but whole root of mu into sigma okay mu into sigma this is nothing but the, the velocity of the the wave the next one is that intrinsic impedance intrinsic impedance intrinsic impedance this is denoted by the symbol eta which is equal to uh, mu omega divided by sigma which is uh, Okay, which is uh, very very less than that of 45 degree. That means it has the, the very less uh, progressive ratio will be there. One minute. It is nothing but uh, so for this case, if eta is equal to whole root of uh, mu omega divided by sigma is very less than that of 45 degree. So which means that only minimal progressive wave shift in the case of the, uh, the velocity and the, the characteristic impedance. It is noted that it has the, the reduced value. So it, yeah, their performance matrix is very, very good. Okay. So uh, as of now, I will just uh, fastly go through it. You just look out the what is the, the uh, most important equations as of now you have studied. Uh, so from this concept only this uh, derived. So one is the, the wave propagation in uh, uh, in lossless medium. Okay, in lossless medium. So for lossless medium. Okay, so for lossless medium. We have derived the, the term called as the, the phase shift. Uh, then we have uh, find out the, the velocity of propagation. Then we have come up for the, the conducting medium. For conducting medium, we have taken the, the generalized uh, wave equation. Then uh, what is alpha, beta, and uh, okay. So this is for uh, the previous uh, dielectric uh, uh, one. For good, uh, sorry, uh, the previous one is for the, the um, yeah, conducting medium. So now we are seen for the, the good dielectric. For good dielectric, these four parameters should be derived. And the last one is the, the good parameter or good conductor. So, already, okay. so this one is called as the, the velocity of the the wave and the difference. Just know the, the expression. Okay, just know the expression. Uh, and for uh, recruitment exam, these formulas are very, very essential and uh, maybe sometime in oral. Okay, sometime in oral. Okay. Okay. So this is what called as the uh, wave propagation. Wave propagation, all the, the concepts is over. So now you can see this equation. This is also the equation you have studied in the, the 12th, but uh, next class only I am going to elaborate about this equation. So can anyone tell what is this equation called? Okay. So this equation sir, can be derived with the help of the, the four important uh, uh, postulate. One is the, the Gauss law, another one is the the magnetic monopole, the third one is the, the uh, okay, so uh, so by using that, we're going to derive the, the differential form and integral form. In the integral form, please see, they have the some single integral also there, double integral also there, triple integral also there. Okay. Okay. So in next class, we're going to see one by one of uh, these Maxwell equation and we're going to derive uh, fully, okay? So, okay. 
so with this i will stop if you having any doubts or clarification you can ask me doubt after the class over